お前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another War of the Visions video here on Fort Misery Gaming. And today, guys, we do have the new 5 million downloads update here live in the game. Uh, so let's, we're going to go over uh, some of the new missions. I haven't really grinded much of it, really, at all. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to show you all the different mission rewards you guys can get. The Briefly go over the shops. Uh, I'll probably do a more detailed video on the shops um, with the new player rank packs that we have. Uh, so that'll be a separate video for you guys. But we're just going to briefly go over everything. But I do want to note first in our inbox, actually, if you guys go down, we actually got 2,000 free Vizor uh, from the Animated Chair All for Love reward campaign. So that's awesome. I um, can't remember if there was a notice for that. I think there was. I think that was something to do with uh, likes either on Facebook or YouTube or something like that that they were doing. I believe that was for uh, the, the JP uh, version. Um, I, I think that's what it was for. If, I was, if I'm wrong about that, I can't remember off the top of my head. Let me know, guys. Uh, but yeah, so that's really, really awesome. So let's go into our mission rewards next and just show you guys briefly what we have. It's not a lot of stuff, but it is stuff that we do want to, you know, note. Uh, in the event tab here. So we have equipment training. This is the regular sleep blade event. Uh, no Vizor here. This is all gonna be materials like what we mentioned in our update video on Monday. So, but you guys can get those once you guys do these. Like I recommend always getting these just cause it's free stuff. And even if you're not gonna build the sleep blade, you can use these materials for different things down the road. So I do recommend getting those. Um, multiplayer, same thing pretty much. Uh, pretty much all the same stuff. Uh, the secret book, though, that is actually some pretty good rewards here. So, here you're going to be able to get 10 of each uh, fragment of thought and 10 of each prism. So, that's very good rewards. And then you guys are going to be able to get 300 viz and then two of each of the seals. So, this is what? This is life seal. That's for HP boost. Uh, then we have defense. Then we have SPR, which is basically magic defense, and then evade. So I was right when I mentioned this in my update video. So yeah, you guys have that. So definitely get that 300 free viz. And then basically the same thing in multiplayer, you guys will have access to as well. Uh, you guys are gonna get some more of the seals and then some more books, uh, secret book of armor. So it looks like armor is the only one extra you can get. Um, yeah, cause there's no extra books here. But remember guys, you are gonna be able to farm the books um, with this week's event, so don't worry about that too much. Also to note, they did add here, make more friends. They have released mission nine and 10. So if you guys have collected up to 45 units, this was not live yesterday. So you guys are gonna get 500 EXP here with 200 viz and then 500 EXP and 200 viz for uh, if you guys are able to collect 50 units. So I need to pull one new unit. So I need to pull the MR. If I can pull at least pull the feature MR um, in the free summon that we have today, then then I'll get it. So very, very cool. Uh, next, let's go into the far plane and just briefly go over these events in the shop real fast. But we do have the unit training support. I did do this. Um, you guys are gonna get 50 gold snappers on your first time player with 50 viz and um, one rainbow fragment. So those are really good first time player rewards. Obviously rainbow fragment thoughts are, you know, we definitely want as many of those as we can get. And these are the droppable items you guys have a chance of getting every day. So the regular fra re regular fragment of thought elemental um, drops are there along with prisms. And then you guys have two and three star awakening materials, skip tickets, and then EXP cubes. So obviously the best things to get are the prisms and the rainbow and the, uh, not rainbow, <laughs> And the elemental fragment of thoughts, those are the number one things to get. But definitely do that every day. It costs eight stamina, so definitely do that every day. Um, then we go into the secret books here, guys. So you guys are able to get, oh, we do get seals. Oh, wow. Okay, so by far, this is the only thing to farm. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get seals. Okay. I couldn't remember if we were going to get seals or not, but we are. So you're going to be able to get seals. Uh, EXP cubes, vision eggs, and adamante, and the uh, secret books, obviously, for armor, accessories, and for ninja blade. So, remember, ninja blade cannot be used on the Nagnarok or, like, the Lionheart replica. It is a separate weapon type, but very, very cool. Um, 
Oh wait, and what? They brought all of them back, dude. That's tight. I didn't even notice this. So you literally can farm for all the seals in the game currently. You can get attack seals. You can get life seals. And you can even get the books for guns and... Wow! So we can actually make higher grade weapons. If you guys have... Um, the only thing we can't get is the crafting materials. But if you guys have already made like... Wow, that's crazy. So you can get books for literally almost like so many different materials. So many different weapons. You can do it for the great swords, the regular swords. Wow, that's crazy, dude. Wow, okay, this update is legit. I didn't know the secret book reward quest was gonna have the previous levels that we had a from like a month ago. That's legit awesome. Wow, shout out to Gumi for that. I thought they were just gonna bring the, the uh, new event, but they actually brought everything, wow. So, all right guys, so if you're lacking on any of that stuff, so you can get the seals, basically all the seals in the game, you guys can, pretty much you can farm most of them. Um, on top of that, obviously you guys can get guns, spears, fists, great swords, regular swords, and axes. Um, so axe you can get from either this one here, or you can also get it um, from the other mission here. If you guys want to go into to craft your sleep blade or your axe, you guys have those as well. So there's the ninja blade here, and this is for the sleep, the uh, sleep blade for the ninja weapon. And then you guys also have here the uh, axe here. So I definitely recommend doing all the first time clears and all that good stuff. And then, you know, depending on what materials you need, because I believe there's different material drops for uh, the golden axe here, as opposed to, let's go back to the secret book quest. Yeah, so different material drops here. So. If you're looking for the crafting materials and you're farming the golden axe, then you um, then you obviously can go to the to the actual axe mission that we have this week. Or if you are looking for purely books and seals, then you can go here. So so many different options. There's so many good farming opportunities. I definitely feel the brutal difficulty. Unless you still need recipes, you just shouldn't be farming that anymore. <laughs> you should be farming. If, you should be farming the secret book quest or the equipment training quest if you guys need recipes for the golden axe or the sleep blade. But I think secret book quest is going to be where you're going to spend the majority of your time farming. That is insane. I didn't know they were going to be bringing those back, so that's awesome. Um, and the same thing for multi quest. You guys are going to get the same similar drops. So they should also have, uh, yeah, so they have all the difficulties as well for this as well. So that's crazy, guys. That's, that's legit insane. Wow. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things you guys can stock up with and prepare. The secret book training quest is like probably one of the best things like I've seen in this game for farming. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. So let's go over the shop before we go over the banners real fast. Um, so we have here... You guys go into your uh, new unit shop for the featured unit, which is going to be Miranda and Durando. Obviously, pretty much same thing we've always seen. You guys can get three uh, 2,000 lots of, or not, three 40 lot shards. So, total of 120 shards you can get for either Durando, Durando or Miranda. So, if you guys are pulling for them, you know, probably a good idea to pick those up. So you'll need 6,000 viz on top of however much you expect to spend to summon for her. Um, if you guys are looking to, you know, build them up a decent rate, as well as obviously her appearance will be showing up more and more in the shop. He is a regular unit, obviously. So you guys can go into the world quest, get some shards there. You know, you can get your two a day on top of the 15 from the, uh, from like the, uh, the green training quest. So you guys can do that. Uh, then you guys also have access to the job the job mats. I always recommend buying these job mats even if you do not plan on pulling simply because you can use them for other job classes. Um, the fragment of thoughts and then um, the prisms. I don't usually recommend spending viz on. Um, five prisms for a thousand viz just is not really worth it. Um, and But anything for uh, rubies or I'm sorry for gill is a pretty good deal like the 500 um, it will cut down your time a lot in farming uh, especially the four star ones so that's not a bad investment uh, for your stamina so if you guys are needing those go and pick those up um, you guys could even check here how many you have and it's like if you need it so 
so yeah but so those are options the job materials for the gill i definitely recommend getting these you're gonna you need a lot of these to max your jobs for all the different elemental heroes you'll have for earth and for water so i definitely recommend getting those so those are really good really strong uh the old feature shot update we have rob and mashari unfortunately two very low low-ish tier urs uh, rob can be semi-useful mashari's not really that useful at all um, but you guys can get a samurai memory you guys can get the cleric memories for green and blue material uh, for the green and blue job levels um and then we're gonna have uh what is this light and is it all light oh wow they're both light then they have to be yeah oh wow so they're both like light, light heroes okay didn't even realize that all right <laughs> so light materials are in here as well if you guys do need them but to note if you need them for someone like Ingelbert um or even Ramza if you guys are still building your Ramza then you know this is a good shop to get some uh, other materials you guys can get uh you can get the purple job materials uh get 20 of those pretty good for uh, green, blue, um, green, blue, and purple for uh, your light heroes, so that's pretty good. Now, to note, it's gonna be a shaft, guys. You guys will notice there is no rainbow materials in this shop for the five million downloads. A little bit of a shaft. I'm not gonna be too upset though, because we did just get uh, rainbow material job, rainbow material shop. Uh, last week in the update so maybe that's why we didn't get it this week so maybe with a part two shop or whatever shop we're going to get next week more than likely hopefully we're going to get some rainbow materials the rainbow fragment of thought and the three rainbow spheres hopefully those will come next week we'll have to see um you know but you guys can pick up uh you know your exp cube um daily which is kind of meh i'm not really down for that but we still have the other shop where you daily you guys can get your uh your what is it skip tickets i think is in this one is it yeah skip tickets and then you can spend 100k to get the mini burst spots so overall way better than this but there is some stuff in here to get um you know if you need the blue or green job materials you know if you really need a lot more skip tickets if you're doing a lot of story farming you guys can get those i wouldn't get any of these things for viz to be honest um i just wouldn't unless you really want the rainbow training pack this is an eight terrible deal if you really are stark on rainbow fragment of thoughts but i i tend to not lean on this too much to be honest if you don't really absolutely need it um but if you really need it for progression and you're a paid player you can pick it up but we'll go over that in another video uh yeah um we do have three or technically four new banners we have the five million downloads free multi summon which we're absolutely gonna do uh, we're going to do also the, the two paid banners simply because I still don't have Golem um, and I just wouldn't mind trying to get like some more dupes of either Frederica's Dream for the Gunner Meadow when Lucia comes in a couple weeks um, or getting, you know, some more dupes of, um, of Shiva. Oh, that would be super strong as well. Um, I'm going to get tilted if I pull an Odin because I willed so hard to pull Odin. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see how that goes um and then the unit the unit i'm definitely going to do for sure um i still need a lot of dupes of other characters i wouldn't mind getting Katon just uh for future uh future proof eventually if i ever end up debilling her down the line um and then you guys have your oh actually there's five banners technically sorry there's also the featured summon which guys do not summon on this please don't summon on this <laughs> please please don't summon on this but anyway there is that uh, then you have the the new banner with the new unit and vision card for your uh, for your girl Miranda. If you guys do want to summon for her, that is there. If you guys do not pull her in your free summon or in the guarantees, if you guys are going to be doing those, so and then they have updated the five million download banners as well to for your daily your your daily free time three times summon uh, is now is going to have higher rate to get the the uh, Miranda and Duranda shards as well as for the featured uh, vision cards as well so those are all the banners so you know take what you will guys you know how your uh Vizor spending is gonna go um you know I do recommend trying to save Warrior of Light is still coming up pretty soon um Lucia will be the next banner more than likely on global so if you guys are looking for to build her down the pipeline I don't recommend pulling on Miranda uh keep in mind if you guys don't really need her as a necessity, like, absolutely, I need her right now in my life, then you can always pull her in any banner. So, she's in the general pull. 
you know. So anyway, we talked about that enough though in the Shouldn't You Summon. So first, we're gonna do our daily, our daily deal, uh, one summon. So let's see what we can get today. Brown book, probably not gonna be anything. It's blue, so more than likely nothing here. So let's see if we can have some decent luck for once in this game though. <laughs> let's see. All right, so nothing on our daily, which is fine. If I can get decent luck on either of the other three summons, I'm not doing any actual summons on Miranda, like I stated in my uh, my Shiggy Summon video last, yesterday, but I will do the free summon, obviously, because it's free, and I'm gonna do the uh, the two paids. So let's go and do our free summon first. Because I only have 8,000-ish um, free, but I, I have like 2,500 in my inbox, so technically I got like, over 10k but i do want to try to save all right so there's no urs we got a silver book but we have five mrs five golds so let's see if any of these can change all right so we got ramada about love that's just uh coins for us all right mia change nope Cleansing the mind. All right, so two more possible changes. Maybe, maybe. Because I have not gotten a rainbow on a free, like a free summon in a long, long time. Velade, all right. <sighs> nope, another valve love, wow. Change? Yes! All right, finally, we get a change. All right, let's see what this is gonna be. Yerba, all right, I'll take it. I'll take Yerba. She's a down the pipeline eventually. I'll probably build her, but my green materials are definitely gonna be spoken for uh, Lucia and Ayaka, to be honest. I've already, I just, I have pulled a lot of Ayakas, and so it just honestly makes more sense for me to uh, build her eventually, so. But all right, I'll take a free, a free Yerma. <laughs> All right, so let's go. All right, so let's do our uh, let's do our vision card one first, actually. Yeah, let's do our vision card. So that means at least we're walking away with three URs guaranteed. Um, you know, this is guaranteed vision card. So let's see if we can get any extras besides the guarantee. So it's gonna troll us and say, "Oh wow, that was hot garbo compared to a five our five multi." <laughs> Five gold multi, last multi. All right. But I'm not going to complain too much because we got a free Irma. So. so let's see if this vision card can be useful. I don't have any UR vision cards maxed out. So, I mean, it's not going to be dead weight regardless. And I'm going to get a rainbow sphere out of it more than likely because I think I have it. Every Unless it's a golem. Golem is like the only vision card that I don't have. So that's the only way we're not getting the sphere. So let's see what it will be. And. Yeah. Of course, a change. <laughs> Second division. Okay, that's kind of meh. I'm not really a big fan of that card. I forget that card even exists half the time, to be honest. But oh well, it's still a rainbow sphere for us. So and a bunch of coins from all this other stuff. So no MRs though. So that's a little bit of a yikes. So, all right, let's see if we can get a new unit on this pull. Whether we get Durando, if we can get a Durando on this pull, or if we can get uh, Gatone, Whisper, Miranda, all those. I mostly want that for the mission rewards. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm hoping we get it. I want out the wait to unlock those so I can try to get my player rank up more. Uh, but let's see what we get today, guys. So, 2,000 paid. All right, we got a gold book. So hopefully that means we'll get better luck, maybe get multiple URs. That'd be awesome. Obviously we know this is a UR. No, again, the shaft. Damn, wow, not a single MR. Wow, that's really bad. Like really, really bad. Wow. Oh, wow, all right. I still can't complain because I did get a UR in my free. So I won't complain too much. Yeah, no changes. All right, so let's see what the UR will be. And shards. I got the shards though, I'll take that. All right, I'm not super mad. We didn't unlock our mission reward to collect a new unit, but we did get Ayaka shards. She's one of the better 
Ayaka, Stern, Engelbert, and Magina are like the main ones of dupes I want, so I'll take more Ayaka shards. <laughs> so, pushes me closer to getting her TMR eventually. So, alright. Well guys, that's gonna be the video. Unfortunately, our pulls were decent, they weren't fantastic. Um, you know, they definitely could have been better, but they could have been worse also. You know, we still did get uh, two, two dupes of two units, and then a dupe vision card, so... Let me know what you guys ended up doing for the update. Let me know if you guys ended up summoning for uh, for our girl, uh, Miranda. Let me know if you guys ended up summoning for Durando, if you guys really wanted to build him. Uh, if you guys, uh, let me know what you guys got in your free multis, obviously. Interested to see what you guys all got. Do um, you guys got like a double or triple UR or just one UR, something good that you guys were looking for? Let me know all that in the comment section down below, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching today. If you guys did enjoy today's content, make sure you guys drop a like down below, hit subscribe if you guys are new, and ring that bell for future videos uh, so you guys can notify about our, all of our uploads here on the channel. And join us in the Discord as well below, guys, so you guys can talk more War of the Visions. Uh, we can help you guys out with any kind of advice you guys need for your PvP, PvE teams, Guild Wars, all that kind of good stuff. We're super active uh, community that we would love to help you in any way we possibly can. And stay safe out there, guys. Wash your hands. Uh, take care of your friends, family, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later, guys.